Hi guys. So I want to talk about something that I don't like at all. One of the biggest um, sayings that I've heard as long as I can remember, um, which is, don't buy the cow when you can milk it for free. I think that is one of the most demeaning um, sayings out. I think it's very demeaning to not just women, but just to relationships at all. Um, I just shared one of my um, posts that I think needs to be addressed because a lot of times we are taught to not treat our lovers, be it male or female, but I'm going to talk about how we are taught um, how to treat our lovers. Hey, Charles. How to treat our lovers that we're in relationship with. We are taught that we should not give um, quality treatment or wifely treatment or husbandly treatment to people or lovers or people that are dating that we're dating unless they are in our uh, I guess uh, in a legal status with us that they're married to us um, and I beg to differ I think that this is a very messed up um, way of thinking and I'm gonna tell you why a lot of times we're taught to treat our lovers or our dating people uh, a certain way, who we date, who we care about, that we're supposed to only give them just enough or very little because they don't have legal binds to us, they're not in a relationship with us, that we should not give too much to someone that we are dating or that we're interested in or that we're having a connection with or even just spending time with. We should not give them a certain level of care, a certain level of our heart, a certain level of um, affection, if you will. And I think that this is one of the most destructive, most um, heart damaging advice that is given to many young girls on up to grown women um, to tell them that they should not give a certain amount of treatment to a man they are not married to or in a binding relationship with. The reason I say that this is damaging is because we are giving, we are expressing that it's important that you give any type of good treatment to a man or to a lover. Um, a certain dynamic of love or affection based upon what you see or what you think you will receive in return and this is where it's damaging because when you authentically care and love someone when you authentically give someone um, terms of endearment we, we exchange uh, our, our energy we exchange via connection we share certain things with someone and people tell you to hold back that because you should only give that to someone that you're in a relationship with. Why buy the cow when you can milk it free, right? Isn't that what they say? Why would you have sexual relationships with a man that you're not in a marriage with? That is the most demeaning thing that they can tell a woman. Because nine times out of ten, you're not going to be sexual with just your husband when you're on the planet. It's just not realistic. So to make a woman feel less than because she's intimate with a man that she's not in a legally binded relationship with is telling a woman that you are a cow and you should only be milked by a man that's married to you. And to me that is just a very damaging message and it's very demeaning to women. I think it's a very damaging and demeaning thing and thought process. First of all, our value isn't based upon what our sexual things are anyway. Our vajayjays, our yanis, our your penises is not where the true value is anyway. So why are we saying that don't buy the cow when you can milk it free? 
that is very ignorant and very damaging to relationships. And I like to say, you can definitely post this up, share it, whatever. I don't care who thinks or it has an issue with me saying it. It's wrong and it's damaging and it's really disheartening that we are going into relationships believing that if we are being sexual with a man we're in a relationship with or not, or that we care about, it's it's not okay because they're not there's not a marriage there. That's not that's not acceptable. Number one. Number two, love a man according to how you want to love a man. Don't let somebody tell you not to give a man husbandly treatment. Who are they? First of all, why are they all up in your Kool Aid? Anyway, if you feel like you want to treat a man well, you want to give him attention, you want to do things for him, you want to help and assist him, don't let nobody tell you because you're not in a relationship or you're not married to him or whatever the hell the so-called bar is that gives you then permission to treat him a certain way. Don't let somebody do that to you. They're helping you to damage a very good hot connection that you could be developing by just allowing you to be you. If you feel you make the decision, ladies, you make the decision. Is this man husband worthy? Whether you're uh, whether he's your husband or not, you make that decision. You don't let somebody else tell you not to give somebody certain treatment because they feel that that man doesn't deserve it because he's not married to you or he's not in a relationship with you or you shouldn't just do this and do that. Listen, that is toxic thinking. If you think that the way you treat a man is going to give you something in return, then you're not loving him properly anyway. <laughs> Take that to the bank and cash it. If you think I treat him well, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that, and you start to make mapping out ways of treating him a certain way to gain something in return, you're not loving pro properly anyways. Trust me. You're loving to gain, which means that's not that's not an authentic love. That is a love to gain and that is manipulative. That's a manipulating love. And this is why I come to you to tell you, please don't heed that that suggestion that don't buy the cow when you can milk it free thinking. That's very damaging to relationships. It's very damaging to how a man is going to receive that. Men, let me tell you, I'm very close to many. I have very, I have a lot of relationships with men that are friendships, platonic, and I have close friendships with men. And I talk to them about what they appreciate. And men appreciate just being cared for. They don't need all of that. They're not wanting you to do all this extra stuff for them so that in turn they can marry you. That's not how this works, okay? When you find out, when you talk to men that do decide to marry, okay, they definitely sit back and say, well, wait a minute, I will marry this woman because I know she cares about me, not because of what she's done for me. Men aren't on that. That, that thinking is really toxic. And as long as you drive forward in your relationship based upon gaining something in return, you're not loving properly. You're not showing this person that you really authentically care about them. And that shows in the long run. And then you wonder why you're not getting married. You wonder why he's not trying to wife you, not trying to make you his significant other, not trying to part make you his, his partner. That is why. Because a man, whether you can think about it or not, are very, men are very discerning. They can discern if you're trying to gain their attention, trying to gain their... Um, not just their attention, but trying to gain them as a boyfriend or wanting them to be more to you for authentic reasons or for gain. And let me put you up on what I mean by gain. Gaining something from a man doesn't always mean sex. Gain can also mean financial help. Gain can also mean I can have access to some people that can help me build myself up. Gain can mean many things, not or I can actually be more comfortable because of him. Those gains, okay, is not because of him gaining for you is not be based upon what you gain, but you're trying to do things for him to get access to certain things he may have that you want. Again, that's improperly loving someone. There's no reason why you should only love and treat a man based upon what he does for you 
you should be wanting to authentically care about him regardless not based upon what he does not based upon what he can give you we have to rethink and start to unlearn some things and learn that everything we've been taught isn't always right a lot of times what we've been taught is damaging to very good wholesome relationships if i sit back and don't really treat a man a certain way because I don't have what I feel I deserve which we can say I feel I deserved him to be my boyfriend or I feel I deserve him to move me in with him I feel I deserve him to be my you know be my husband or whatever I have in the back of my mind and I'm only treating him certain up you know certain levels because I want to gain that then I'm wrong point blank period so we have to stop and think are we only doing certain things to a small degree because we don't want to give more than we're willing to lose well let me tell you something when you are in a relationship be it whatever kind of dynamic you're in understand something when you're in that arrangement in that agreement having fun engaging and doing things anyway whether you become a wife or not a girlfriend or not the time you exchange with them you are already gaining you are already gaining education. I talked about this yesterday. You're already gaining education about who he is to you. And in that knowledge of understanding that education and having that, you're actually gaining some knowledge. And so when you gain that knowledge through your engagement with each other, you can then determine on your own without other outsiders telling you how to treat him because that's what they tend to do. You don't need to be treating him like a king and why are you doing all that? He's not even your dude. Da, 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 da. That's irrelevant. If you care to do it, do it. Your heart will tell you what's acceptable and what's not. Don't listen to outsiders telling you what you should and should not do. Just like gentlemen, don't let somebody tell you you should be wifing that girl or you should be treating that girl a certain way. No, you know how to treat someone. You know in your heart of hearts, is this person really someone that I should be treating kindly? We, we take it for granted. Just, just because we don't want to have, or just because we want something, doesn't necessarily mean we have to sit and be rooted in overly thinking, should I do this for him or should I not? Should I think twice about doing something kind for him? I had a guy one time tell me, you know that dude you're with or whatever, you know, make sure he better be treating you right. I said, we both should be treating each other right. It's not just about him treating me right. I should be treating him well. This is a two-way street. It's not just about how I'm being treated. It's also about how he's, be, he, he's being treated. And this is also another issue. We oftentimes subtract the man's treatment as though that doesn't matter. Why is that that men should be the only ones catering? We should also be showing some care care and showing some affections showing some steps to making sure their life is better we should also be doing certain things there's no reason why we shouldn't but again a lot of times we don't want to talk about these things because no one wants to own the fact that the stuff is not right <laughs> it's just not right telling someone that they are wrong for sleeping with someone they're in a connection with you don't have a right to tell somebody to do something because of your beliefs or their beliefs they have the right to do what they so want and choose so just like christopher said he said compatibility restrictions from traditional up upbringing is too restrictive which opens up the door for curiosity to easily overrule and that is exactly why we get treated the way we do or we decide to treat someone else the way we do because we are thinking if I treat them this way I'm going to lose being in a union and being in a connection with someone is not a win or lose situation you both become vulnerable and engage with each other to learn each other it's not a game people you don't win you don't win even if you marry there's not a win that's not a win it's not a game even if you decide to be boyfriend and girlfriend that's not a win that's just something you both decide to to basically evolve to and when you do that that's between the two of you and how you treat your lover is up to you if your lover is sweet enough and kind enough to you and you don't want to do anything to sh to reciprocate that because you're afraid that you're giving too much then you're you're not loving properly 
take that to the bank and cash it. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you tell other people that think this way. It's not correct. It isn't. And sometimes you have to hear it in order to change it. In order for relationships to get more healthy and more functional and work better, there has to be an understanding. And for in order for me to understand you and understand and, and care about you, I should not be caring and doing kind things for you because I'm standing to gain something in the process. So make sure you tag your friends. Make sure you share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. Also, I want to make sure that you guys know I have a channel on YouTube called Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. I want you guys to go over to YouTube and subscribe and be sure to watch other videos. I'm always on there. I make sure to keep you fulfilled with information, learning about love, learning about compatibility, learning the importance of functionality rather than concerned about what type of relationship you're in is much more important because we can stand, I can stand here all day and promote a different style of relationship, but it doesn't mean a hill of beans if you're not going to be in the best state of mind and heart and soul to be in any dynamic. So I'm not here to promote what type of style of relationship to get go to or do or whatever. That's not my that's not my um my job. But my job is to encourage you to learn about function, functional, great, proper love relationships. And you'll start to see, my God, I have a much better enjoyment in being in them. The reason why people aren't enjoying being in their relationship is because a lot of times they're not even cool or kind to each other. They're oftentimes not even really doing certain kind acts for their, their lover because they're spending a lot of time spending a lot of time being negative and evil and mean to each other. And this is why relationships look like this. We have to improve our love affairs by first improving how we think. If we think that it's okay to just treat them any old kind of way or treat the treat them with the bare minimum and then expect them to want to promote us in their life that's that's stupidity that's not that's not normal thinking if i can't treat you kind without expecting nothing then i shouldn't be in the in, in a union with you anyway how about that so we have to be mindful if i'm going to treat you well okay that is on me that is something i want to do and choose to do and nobody should be here trying to tell me that I should not do that or that I, you know, that I'm wrong for doing that. Love relationships look better when we treat the other person well, regardless. And I don't care what anybody else tells you. They may tell you that's not true. And I treated him this way and I treated him that way and I didn't get anything back. That's because you're giving to get. <laughs> Take that to the bank and cash it. You're not giving just to give and walk away. One of the things that I learned, a hard lesson from somebody that was close to me at the time, he told me something very powerful. He said, I love you, and I don't give a damn if you love me back. And I thought, well, my God, really? He said, love isn't about what you get in return. Just love, period. <laughs> I was like, that makes sense. Because I shouldn't be loving to get you to love me. I should just be loving you, period. If I receive the same in return, then that's great karma, right? That's great that's great uh, reciprocal love. But that doesn't always mean it's gonna be that way. Sometimes we just need to heed and pay attention. Why buy the cow when you can milk it for free is the most demeaning comment. But like I said, if you have somebody, a man that, that's in your life that you desire and you love and you wanna treat well, don't let nobody stop you from doing that because really, Men like to be treated well anyway. They do. I have a lot of male friends that tell me all the time, if a woman treats me well, I appreciate it and I can feel that, especially when she's authentically doing it, not to gain something from it, just to be, just because she cares about me. I hope I helped somebody. Like I said, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe and make sure you share this video. I want you guys sharing the video so people can get this this real, this truth. Stop listening to all this nonsense. You go ahead and milk that cow, free or not. Take that to the bank and cash it. This is Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. That's kept. Bye, guys.